And now at five, we are learning more about that tornado. You can see some of the damage here from earlier today. We're talking with people who are affected by the storm. ABC 27's Cara Bailey has been in the area as crews work to clear the debris. She joins us live from the Emergency Operations Center. Channing Emergency Operations Director Lee Basford says that the good news is that no one was hurt, even though winds toppled trees and tore off roofs near Cherry Lake. Not, not like the train they talk about, but it just sounded like a bad thunderstorm rolling through pretty fast. In a matter of minutes. Came quick. I could barely get up and get my shoes on, get in the bathroom, and it was gone. That's how the day started for Mark Hansen and other families living in Madison County. An EF1 tornado came through, taking down trees, power lines, and anything else in its path. Out in the Boggy Bay area, there were several uh, quail houses that were damaged. Um, a grain bin was displaced. Uh, lots of debris over the roadways, uh, large trees down in the area. At one point, 500 people left without power as Tri-County Electric and Madison County Public Works crews worked throughout the day to clear roads and get the lights turned back on. And after Monday morning's experience... Yep, you can see the moon through the trees, which you can never see before, you know, in the morning time. Hansen says he'll see things a little differently now that the storm has passed. 